Hi, Peter Charles here, Folks for Life Fly Fishing. In my last two videos, I talked about tying loops that connect backing to fly line. Now let's talk about the knot that connects the backing to the spool of the fly reel. I've got my demonstrator fly fishing spool, and I'm going to show you how to do what's called the arbor knot. Now, the first part of the arbor knot is simply to put an overhand knot into your tag, just like that. So that's, it just locks it in place. It's just a locking knot. So what we do from here then is I'm going to put my backing around the spool. So we, you know, this is my reel. I'd feed it through the spool. And then on the main line, I will make an overhand knot. And you notice I've got the overhand knot running uh, over the main line. So it looks like that and you notice two things. The main line is inside the overhand knot and that little overhand knot there is outside of the overhand knot. I snug that down and then I just pull. And it will snug all the way down. This cord is, is not very slippery so I can't get it very far but uh, it will, when you're using regular backing, it's slippery enough you'll be able to cinch that all the way down with no trouble. If I loosen that off a little bit, I might be able to get to go all the way down. There we go. That's what it would look like on your reel. And of course you trim that off. And then when you wind on your backing, it covers that up and you never see it. Now, that phrase is very important, you never see it. You don't want to have a fish spool you because you've got inadequate backing and now you're depending on that knot to save your bacon because it isn't. It's not a strong knot, it will break. So the whole idea is it simply holds the fly line onto the, or sorry, the backing onto the spool, the arbor of the reel, and it when you pull on it, it cinches down so it locks nice and tight and so the whole thing won't spin on you. Now, you can use this knot in conventional fishing too. There's no reason why you can't use it for spinning reels. Uh, bait casters are easy, you've, are, uh, is an easier proposition because you usually have holes in the spool where you can tie uh, your line on. But on spinning reels, you just have a spool that's very like a fly reel. So when you're tying on uh, your, your Power Pro, for example, or your Mono, you can use this knot. Now, if you're using braid, I would suggest putting uh, a, ra a few wraps of Mono on their first bed on one layer of Mono because Mono grips the spool better than braid. So uh, braid is slippery. So normally what I'd do is I'd use this arbor knot to put some uh, Mono onto my spinning reel spool and then I would use it, <coughs> sorry, a double grinner knot to connect the Power Pro and the Mono, and then I'm good to go. So there you go, the Arbor Knot. Uh, as I say, it's not a strong knot, it's an easy knot, and you should never, ever, ever see it when you're fishing. Cheers.